Hey, what's up everybody? It's AWOL here, playing some ranked matches in Hearthstone. I've already reached diamond level, one star diamond. I'm headed to two star diamond. This is my path to master's level. It is my objective to become one of the best players in the game. And in beta, I've been kicking some asses with the shaman deck. Want you guys to play along with me. Want to show you some of the things that I'm doing that I've been able to do in climbing the ladder. Some tactics along the way. How many of you guys have been playing Hearthstone so far? How many of you guys are in beta? Most of my friends are already playing. I know it was extremely difficult to get into beta for a while. Post in the comments below if you're playing. Let me know what your favorite cards are, your favorite champs, decks are. I want to know what you think. Be sure to subscribe to this channel if you want to check more Hearthstone. Let me know if you want me to make more of this content. These are some of the first videos I've made about this game. Alright, so this deck is based on making a lot of creatures hit the board quickly and buffing the hell out of them, snapping some bloodlust up on them bitches, and taking this game down. So this is a decent starting hand. I've got a number of tools that I need here. I've got a damage tool, I've got a creature buff tool, as well as a hex to take greetings. down some sort of large taunt creature. Let's let's drop greetings, a greetings friend. on our priest opponent here. So I am playing Shaman. If you guys aren't already familiar, Shaman's hero power is to summon a random totem. There are four options for those totems. Hero power for priest is restoring two health to anything on the board. Extremely powerful right here, especially when you're using that in tandem with cards that benefit you when you heal, say, minions or heal any sort of target on the board. Wouldn't be surprised if we saw some of those cards being played. There you go. Whenever you cast a spell, gain plus two attack this turn. Hero powers do not count as a spell, but it is what it is. So, at this point, um, I had the decision of playing my Dire Wolf Alpha or summoning a totem. Right now, I would rather summon a totem. I don't like playing my Dire Wolf unless he can buff the adjacent minions that are next to him and give him plus one attack, so that's what we're gonna do. Is just hold off, bust this bad boy out, not to mention if I need to use my Lava Burst at some point, the plus one spell damage I'm getting from this totem will allow me to blow something up. Yes, you don't want to give your opponent the opportunity to play spells early when they have a card like this, and by dropping in desirable minion on the board. That's what priests can do. And uh, pretty crazy what they can do. They tend to have every card they could ever imagine or dream of having to take down every type of minion. It's uh, It can be pretty frustrating. It can be fairly obnoxious, actually. So we're gonna go ahead and play Dire Alpha Wolf right now. And should I be attacking this opponent right now? No, I'm not going to do that. Best decision right now is just to go ahead and attack the priest himself. And uh, just force him to heal himself later if he needs to do something. No sense in losing my only minion tool that we have right here. Reason being, uh, next turn I have the option of dropping a raid leader, which gives me plus one attack to all creatures. No sense in giving up my creatures. The main objective of this deck is to have as many creatures out of the board as possible so when this bloodlust drops this bad boy right here all my minions get plus three attack for that particular turn and they become ridiculously powerful okay so this card is proving to be pretty annoying but i can be patient i can be very patient in fact so i'm gonna summon an additional totem hopefully it's healing totem no it's not but taunt totem works and i'm gonna drop my Flame Tongue Totem, which gives plus two attack to adjacents, so that will make him think twice about attacking this. He can still do so and survive, but that will give me the opportunity to polish him off here with my Wrath of Air Totem. So we're just gonna attack the other priest and uh, just move forward. Right now, in this stage of the game, with this particular Shaman deck, I'm just buying my time. I'm just buying my time. I'm not be able to show you a lot of the cards that I normally use to buff out uh, the number of minions that I have on the board. Stealing my minion! What a little bitch, giving himself spell damage. Actually, uh, yeah, not quite as planned. That's definitely not what he should have taken there, but that's fine. He should have definitely taken uh, my totem right here, which gave him plus two attack, but... Uh, yeah, and now I have him back. Yeah, he totally screwed that up. That's actually pretty uncharacteristic uh, for players uh, at the diamond level, uh, to be totally honest. Right now, I've got Doomhammer, and Doomhammer is a fantastic card. I ended up actually burning, disenchanting a legendary gold card that I had for a different deck to pick up this two Doomhammers. Uh, and it's absolutely worth it. Doomhammer is incredible. One of the best weapons in the game, in my opinion. 
Uh, it gives you Wind Fury with two damage. It allows you to do a lot of board clearing. It allows you to lay that early game damage, and it just gives you versatility uh, that you need uh, to clear out maybe taunting minions uh, from the opposing player, uh, and maybe just to do just an ass load of damage with eight durability, right? In Wind Fury, uh, you're looking at a total of uh, 16 damage potential uh, with this particular weapon, which to my knowledge is the highest damage potential of any weapon in the game, even the Paladin weapon. Uh, that's something that I love about that particular card. Okay, so I have options right now. Um, I still need... Uh, to get more minions on the board, and unfortunately I don't have a lot of my really nice minion cards uh, that allow me to assemble large armies of minions. So, at this point, you know, this Shattered Sun Cleric really isn't that much of a threat. If he takes out my Harvest Golem, that's okay with me, because a Death Rattle allows a Damage Golem to come out, so I'm just gonna do some just damage to the Priest here. Bring him down under 20. I think that's okay right now. Um, I don't really want to do anything else at this time. Still got Lava Burst in tow to do 6 damage, so if this priest end up dropping like some sort of huge ash creature like this one, and uh, this is a super, super rare creature, actually, let me take a look over here. At the end of your turn, you summon a 2-2 Null with Taunt. Boom, there it is right there, right? That's extremely obnoxious. So we're going to need to deal with that, and uh, deal with that soon. So. The best way for me to deal with this creature is going to be... Well, I have a couple different options uh, right now. I could go ahead and take out this Knoll here, uh, who has Taunt, and then I could drop a Flame Tongue and allow me to just straight up Beast Mode this dude. Uh, that is an option. I could think about doing that. I don't want to take damage if I don't have to. Um, let's go ahead and do it. That's, that's what we're going to do. And then also, we're gonna bust out a totem as well. So, let's go ahead and hit this bad boy. Let's go ahead and take him out. And then it's gonna go ahead and summon my damaged one here to backfill, which is very, very nice. And then we'll use... Ah, oh boy. We'll use our next attack here on this priest and... I don't know whether I should hold on to this lava burst. I am gonna go ahead and use the lava burst to... Hit the priest. I think I can finish off this game soon. I really do. I think I can finish it off very soon. Yeah, it was well played. I know it was well played. Thanks. The idea, though, with that play is to keep three minions on the board uh, in order to potentially use Bloodlust this next turn uh, to pump up my damage. Uh, no doubt he is going to use this Shattered Sun Cleric to attack my Taunt minion. Yeah, take him out. So now I only have two creatures on the board, which is fairly obnoxious. Uh, that sort of limits my options at this time. Do I have the potential to finish the game? He's got 14. I can do four here with my uh, weapon. Then if I use Bloodlust, I can add... That'll be seven. That'll be... Ten. So, yep, that's GG. Bloodlust right now, gonna go ahead and win Fury Attack right now, and I just won the game, my friends. And that's how you win at the Diamond level. Oh yeah, I bested that Priest. That's a double, you picking it up. That's Diamond level play. Oh, I'm moving towards those two stars. If you guys want to catch more Hearthstone action, I'm gonna be playing some more Shaman videos, rocking out some other decks here on this channel. Be sure to subscribe. Let me know in the comments. You want more Hearthstone? Give me a thumbs up. Let me know what's up. Thanks for watching. This is AWOL. See you in the next video.